Back to the action. Inning number two. No run scored. Brandon did have three base runners. Two base runners, however. And a clean hit where Dylan had none. Dylan buzzing the tower. Little buzz of the tower. Luckily, it wasn't fast enough for him not to react to it. Dill overthrowing. 69 mile an hour fastball. 2 0. Oh. Having a hard time finding the glove, finding the middle of the plate. You all right? <laughs> Poor Connor. You all right? Yeah. Did it get you? Two one the count. That's a foul ball. Stay in. Ah, uh, stays there. Two and two the count. Seventy one mile hour fastball there. Curveball that did not curve. Another one over his head. Three and two. What's he gonna do? He's got to come in with a fastball. He doesn't want to put a guy on here, especially a leadoff hitter. And he comes in with a fastball foul ball. Almost. Brandon sitting dead red, just a little ahead. Dylan's trying to put him to bed. Still 3-2. Fastball in on his hands. That had great run. That must have been two-seam fastball. Came right in. Or not. Dylan determined. Determined to pound the zone against Brandon. Two-two fastball. A lot of pitches here. Brandon with a QAB. Sits on the curve and he actually caught up to it and he hit it foul. Whatever it was, it looked like a curveball. It did have break. <laughs> Classic two strike approach by Brandon Ruland. The eighth pitch of the at bat. And he loses him. Ball four. Runner on first. No one out. And he shook you off? I don't know. Shaking off a college catcher. That is way foul on the hands. Brandon mentioning he's going to hit the whole fucking bucket foul. Excuse the language, folks. Connor telling Brandon it would be better to hit it fair. Holding this camera is hard work. My shoulder's starting to ache. Here we go. 0 1 count. Runner on first. Oh, that's a beautiful curveball down the line. That's a double play. There's no way that's a double play. I'm not calling a double play on that because Brandon's got speed. I'm calling a double play because that was hit hard right at the You cannot call a double play. One out. One out.
Run around in second. Dylan getting a little upset and worked up. This is a great mental challenge for him. Oh, just a bit high. He starts it off down the middle. That's a beautiful pitch. Dylan just having a hard time locating. In on the hands. Tough play for Dylan Ruland. But can he make it? Yes, he does. Two outs. Pop out to the infield. Dylan, like a cat off the mound to make that tough pop-up play. Two outs. Runner on first. Brandon still battling. Throws it by him at 71. Low cheese on the outside part of the plate. Paints the black. He throws two more like that. It may be lights out for Brandon. Can he locate it again? The 1 A little high. Inconsistent with the strikes. Good thing that didn't catch the plate. Brandon was ready to hit the scoreboard. Nice barrel on that one. What a good inning by both players. Brandon, what do you think? I finally got on time a little bit. Brandon's timing back a little bit with no BP after stepping in the box after five years. Dylan, are you impressed by your brother Brandon's at bats? Yeah, I just got to locate better. Sure Dylan saying he's got to locate better. It's been a theme all season. It's a theme all season. Brandon Ruland. Getting some water. Connor Ruland. How's it been back there? It's fun. It's been. Brandon Ruland with a glove in hand, meaning he's going out for the bottom of the second. Oh, Lord. Brandon, determined, determined to take it to his brother. Connor, what do you think this last, last half inning will bring? I hope Dylan strikes out three times. Dylan will be striking out three times is his prediction. I hope. I don't predict it. Dylan is determined. I'm going to throw Dylan three sliders, three curveballs straight in a row. Three curveballs straight. Yep. Let's hope he doesn't hang one. I don't think. We'll be back after this quick break.